Your Classical Storytime is supported by Minnesota Neuropsychology, dedicated to helping build a future where neurodiverse learners are empowered to use their strengths and overcome learning challenges. You can visit fallinlovewithyourbrain.com to schedule your evaluation. Hello, welcome to Your Classical Storytime. I'm Ines, with our version of a Brazilian folktale, The Turtle and the Flute, featuring music by Eitor Villalobos. Once upon a time, there was a turtle with a long neck who lived in the Brazilian rainforest. She was a Gran Charapa turtle who lived near the river and had a beautiful shell. One day, she was walking along the forest floor and came across a beautiful wooden flute. She picked it up, turned it over in her little green hands, and blew into it, making an awful sound. She decided then and there that she was going to learn to play that flute no matter what. And learn she did. She practiced every single day, making sure to warm up with scales and clean her flute afterwards. She even practiced on the weekends and during holidays. She was very disciplined, and in the end, it paid off. She became a flute master. Every day, the animals of the rainforest would gather to listen to the turtle play her flute at the riverbank. They cheered loudly when she would finish a piece and make requests for their favorite songs. They all loved the turtle's playing, and she loved to play for them in return. Then one day, a man was walking through the forest, gathering fallen fruits from trees, when he heard a magical melody float through the humid air. Wow, what an amazing sound. Where could it possibly be coming from? The man asked. He followed the beautiful music until he reached the riverbank, where he was shocked to see, perched atop a large gray rock, a turtle playing the flute. What an amazing animal, he said. I must have her as a pet. The kids will love her. The man tiptoed slowly behind the turtle who was far too focused on her performance to notice him, until it was too late. The man snatched the turtle and her flute and stuffed them into his sack. When the man arrived home to his children, he reached into the large bag and pulled out the turtle, who was hiding in her shell. A turtle, his oldest daughter cried, how beautiful. And she's a special one, the man said. She's sleeping right now, but just wait until she wakes up. You're in for a big surprise. He gently placed the turtle in a large cage and turned to his kids. I have to go out and run some more errands, he said. But do not, under any circumstances, let the turtle out of this cage until I've returned. Do you understand? Yes, yes dad. dad. Yes, Dad. After the man left, the kids sat around the cage urging the turtle to come out and play with them. The turtle didn't know what to do. She was terrified. But what could she do? All she had was her trustworthy flute. Wait, the turtle thought. Maybe I can use my flute to get out of this situation. The turtle peeked out, and the children began to cheer. She pulled out her flute with a flourish and began to play. The kids gasped and watched in wonder as the little turtle played an exciting tune. And then another. And then another. They clapped and cheered as she finished the last note. You're amazing, said the oldest daughter. You think that's amazing, the turtle asked slyly. Wait until you see me play and dance at the same time. You can do that, the youngest boy asked. I sure can, but this cage is just too small and crowded for all my awesome dance moves. If only I could dance somewhere with more space. The kids looked at each other before the eldest daughter lit up, jumping to her feet. I know, we can let you into the living room and you can dance and play for us there. 
quick as lightning, the kids snatched their father's keys and opened the turtle's cage door. The turtle somersaulted out of the cage, landed in the splits, pulled herself up with a twist, and began to dance, all while playing her flute. The kids squealed in delight, cheering her on. After several songs and dance moves, the turtle finally stopped, breathing heavily. The oldest daughter cried, Please, keep playing and dancing. It's so much fun to watch. Well, the turtle said, pretending to really think about it. I guess I could do a few more songs. How about this? I'll take a quick breather outside, gather my energy, and when I get back, we dance and play together. The kids loved the idea. They opened the door for the turtle to step outside before running back indoors to grab some snacks for their big dance party. As soon as the kids were in the house, the turtle took a few quiet steps towards the edge of the yard. Then a few more. Then a few more. And then, with a deep breath, she sprinted towards the tree line. Now, you might think, a turtle isn't very fast, but a terrified river turtle running for safety? Well, let's just say she certainly wasn't the slowest animal in the forest as she tumbled through the grass. She heard the kids yelling after her just as she pummeled through a row of bushes and then rolled the rest of the way down to the river where she landed with a loud splash. And that's how the turtle escaped, using nothing but her wits and skills. And to this day, people say they can still hear the beautiful flute in the rainforest. But nobody has been able to find the turtle herself, who is now very careful about where she practices. The end. Thanks for listening to Your Classical Storytime from APM, American Public Media. Explore the rest of our library at yourclassical.org.